we will need to create a texture for the hands and we'll need to go into Photoshop to do that but before we do that I want to show you a potential problem we might have that we need to solve first so let's have a go at creating a hand anyway which is just going to be a cube um, that we're going to squash up move into edit mode squash it up a bit to make it look like a sort of a long stick that can relatively easily become a hand I'm going to change its name to make sure we don't lose track of it I'm going to call it clock hand and uh, we need to move it in front of the clock face which we could do ourselves in other words by just moving the arrow keys uh, well, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to copy the positional parameters so if I click on the clock face and select the X position I can then paste that into the X position of the hand and do the same thing with the Z position and we'll move the Y in the right Y direction by hand. So it's now positioned behind the clock. So I can just grab the, the green handle and drag it forwards and it will appear just like that. Uh, it's actually a little bit too big still so I'm going to just squash it up a little bit. We don't want the hands to be too big. That kind of looks okay. And it's see how we look. and uh, That's not looking too bad. Um, we need to resize it down a bit and up here into the middle. So that's sort of okay. You could almost imagine that being a clock hand. It needs a texture to make it look like a hand. So what we want to do now is rotate that um, according to the hours and minutes. Um, and we can do a little test rotation by uh, putting a value in by hand. Now later on we'll do this via a script and it will obviously need to align it with the current time but we'll do it by hand. So if we change this to say 90 degrees we'd expect it to rotate around from where it is 90 degrees down to 3 o'clock. What actually happens is it rotates it like that. It's rotating it around the center of the cube which isn't what we want obviously um, and it's going to be a problem for us we can't, unfortunately we can't tell Second Life that we want to rotate it at the bottom of the cube which is what we'd want, we really want to rotate it around this position here uh, you can't do that. So how are we going to solve this problem? Well there are a few ways you could do it. Um, one way for example you could position another very small cube down the bottom here um, sort of centered over the clock face then link these two objects together and if you rotate the uh, the small cube because the the larger hands attached to it it'll rotate correctly there are some issues with doing that though not least of which it's introducing another object into your uh, clock which means it ups the prim count which is generally a bad idea um, but also um, you'll have to link that hand to the rest of the clock face at some point which will make the whole thing unwieldy and not work so we're going to try a different approach there may well be other ways of doing this um, I'm not saying I know all of the ways uh, but this way will work so if I drag this hand down to make it a full length of the clock face if I now do my 90 degree spin it's correct and in fact if I do 30 degree it'll give me 1 o'clock and uh, 60 degrees it'll give me 2 o'clock and so on so that's not looking too bad that's kind of working okay but there is an issue with it because you know minute hands and hour hands don't really look like that do they they don't have a full length and besides if you're looking at that you're not sure whether it's 2 o'clock or 8 o'clock um, so it's still not perfect what, what we need to do is lose this back half of the um, of the hand but still have it rotate correctly and that's exactly what you can do. Uh, we can make the back half transparent so that you can't see it uh, so it'll still be there, the cube will still be exactly this size, this long um, but you'll only be able to see the the front half of it uh, and we can do that by defining a transparent texture uh, when we're uh, building our texture for our clock hand and we're going to zip back into uh, PaintShop Pro right now to show you how to do that.